What is going on guys? Today we're just gonna give a total like market update on some of the other videos I made. We'll just kind of check in with everything. Um, I do wanna apologize for the microphone quality. I'm traveling so uh, I don't have my normal setup. But um, first off, let's just look at this, uh, the Giratina in a PSA 10. Um, we got a 950 crossed out. It's like, look at this right here, 980. So. This card has been climbing quite a bit. Um, if we go back even, I mean, there's still some that are falling below in the sevens, 890, but this card soon, it's about to crack $1,000 in a 10, which is absolutely crazy, considering not that long ago, you could get it in like the sixes and the sevens. Um, super pumped, um, do have one of these, um, so just keep that in mind. Um, Next up, the Charizard, uh, the V. Um, if you guys watched my other video, you'll know that I was calling this as like worst case scenario, $500 in a 10. So now we're getting sales. I mean, we're, we're creeping up on 400 here. Um, it's like 389. So um, that tracks and that's looking good now that um, Brilliant Stars went out of stock on the Pokemon Center. So um, usually the booster boxes go and then the the singles tend to lag a little bit behind sometimes. Um, I still think there's a lot of room for this, even past 500 possibly. Um, let's just check in on Lost Origin real quick, um, the booster boxes. Um, looks like these, these came up and these dipped just a little. Um, you guys can see we got sales 190, 205, 220, but that um, median price still at 243. That's important. So, um, these are going to come back up, but I'm sure what's kind of what's happening. And like when I made that other video talking about how um, cyclical the market is, is that uh, brilliant stars went out and people jumped over and now um, silver tempest is still in stock and that's going to be the next one. So people kind of jump around, but once lost origin comes back around, we're going to see another, another increase here. Um, speaking of brilliant stars, um, still out of stock on the Pokemon center has not come back in. Um, which is unfortunate. I've been checking um, Pokemon Center for both Lost Origin and Brilliant Stars to see if they'd get a small restock. I would love to capitalize on that. Um, the price on TCG Player was, for the last like while, has always been above Pokemon Center pricing anyways, it looks like. Um, and so, yeah, we're looking at like 11% on, on the uh, three-month chart here, but like one, 170 range. Um, so still good buy on the uh, Pokemon Center, as you guys can see. Uh, um, oh, sorry. Brilliant Stars is not, if you could have got that at Pokemon Center pricing. So I'll keep my eye on that. Um, Silver Tempest, this is the this is the next one that everyone's gonna be, gonna be on about. Um, still in stock, although, what is interesting if you guys will notice here, Purchase limit of four, so if you're buying this from the Pokemon Center, you're not going to be able to get a full case. Um, so that is a little bit unfortunate, and that would indicate to me that this is going to go out of stock pretty quick. So um, keep that in mind. Um, let's check, it. and then if we look at it on the TCG player, um, you can see back here, um, you could have been getting this at 126. A box was the lowest in the last three months. And um, now we're all just a little bit over um, Pokemon Center pricing. Um, not the strongest set, but that Lugia is really nice. Um, so that's going to carry all you need is one good chase card. It's going to carry a set. Um, speaking of the Lugia, um, let's check eBay sales uh, in a PSA 10. Um, this has come up quite a bit. You used to be able to get this in like the three, like low 300s in a 10. But now we're seeing 420, 450. Highest sold, 430, 430. So, yeah, um, once again, this is just the hype. The hype for the boxes going uh, out of stock. Once they go out of stock, expect this in a 10. Um, I mean, you're looking at it, but I think similarly, the $500 range, maybe six, even for sure, at um, like the low end. Um, but yeah, so... Look, looking good there if you guys got in uh, I don't have a 
I don't have any Lugia, unfortunately. Um, next up, let's talk about Japanese 151. Um, as you guys know, I made a few videos about that. And currently, as of this, the date of this recording, it's the 5th, there's still lots of time um, for more restocks and reprints. Um, we have seen more boxes um, popping up um, in Japanese uh, Pokemon centers. They're taking off the shrink wrap. Um, but we have seen this price climb back up. Um, this this price per box on Sneaker Dunk dropped to, um, I think we hit like the $69, $68 range for a while. And I thought that was going to keep dropping. So with, with 151 I could be wrong, and I will admit that I was wrong, but we had to let a little bit more time go. I still think they're going to release more boxes. Once again, could be wrong, but if you followed my advice and you were dollar-cost averaging throughout this whole thing, then you'd totally be good. So um, when in doubt, dollar-cost average is always smart. Um, I'm still looking for another run of boxes to come in. Um, I don't know why, logically, why the Pokemon Center would not do that in my mind, just with how popular the set is, um, with Japan being in a recession, and this is like a money printing machine, it kind of only makes sense that they would want want to do that. But um, even at this price, it was so much nicer to have this $77 range versus the $200 a box. Um, and then if we check on eBay, we can just hop on here and check sales real quick. Um, so, I mean, this is... I don't know what happened at this price, but um, you're still seeing high 80s, low 90s, even even $100 on some of these boxes. Um, so keep in mind, if you're buying on Sneaker Dunk, there's like some fees for shipping and everything, but this is crazy. I don't know who's buying <laughs> buying this at $145 a box. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, I mean... I, Oh, this is two boxes at 180. So yeah, um, it is still selling like crazy um, on eBay. The price is all over the place. Like it's kind of wild. Um, so yeah, one like another 145. So it seems like there's there's no real consistency on eBay. Um, that's kind of a wide range. But um, that is the update on 151. And I think that is going to do it for this video. We kind of touched on just like a wide um, array of just kind of everything. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to give you like sort of a quick little market update on some of the things that I've been watching and making videos about. Because um, a lot of those videos that I made, I made the video and then like exactly what I said was going to happen. Like it popped off or sold out, sold out like that day or the next day. <laughs> So, um, and so, yeah, it looks like, um, everything that I had covered is looking real good. Um, kind of with the exception of the 151, it's looking like I might be wrong, but like I said, if you, if you dollar cost average, then it, you were good, which was my advice. So, um, you can't call them all right. Nobody, nobody in the market or making videos, if they're saying that they're always right about everything that you can't know everything, it's, it's impossible. So. Um, I was just kind of checking myself on, uh, some of the stuff. So, um, that's looking good and yeah, I think that's it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. And remember it was never a phase.